Are you sick of everybody hating you for using game cheats? Well, then you should watch this video. Generally, game hackers are regarded as antisocial people that simply run around ruining everybody's day and being entirely selfish and absolutely having no compassion for any other human beings other than themselves. So I would argue that this concept is wrong and today we're going to be talking about it. Hello everybody, I am Game Jacker, and today we're discussing how to be a good guy when using game cheats being a white hat game cheater, a concept that I borrowed from general, uh, the general kind of hacking community where white hat stands for a good guy that uses his skills and his abilities and his powers, so to speak, for good, whereas gray hats and black hats are more selfish than gray hat, you know, trying to do as little harm as possible and the black hat simply not caring, only looking out for themselves, be, being basically a complete prick, if I might call them that. So, today I want to talk about it, and of course here at HackerBot.net, if you want to check out the website, just Google HackerBot or Game Hacks. I recommend using Brave Search to do that, as Google is hard to use these days. So, how do you become a white hat game cheater and why should you consider being one. So first off, from my personal experience, having been a little bit more of a gray hat in the past, I must say that using game cheats in a selfish way will ruin your own fun and might even annoy other people. So for example, in the ex obvious example of shooters using aimbots and wall hacks, if you are just going st full out and just balls to the wall and just activating your aimbot, shooting everybody, you might have fun for about 30 minutes or two hours and then the game just is not challenging anymore because you don't need any skill, you don't need to be able to actually do anything, you just hold down your aimbot button, you walk through the map and that's basically it. You turned a skill-based fun game into an AFK idle game which is not fun at all because most of the fun in gaming comes from you actually learning, adapting, getting better, honing your skills and achieving something, unlocking that rare skin that you were aiming for for many months. And those kind of experiences, the adrenaline you get when you finally reach what you were looking to achieve, that is most of the fun in most games, especially competitive online games. So here is what I recommend people do if they are hell set on using game cheats. Once you realize that what I'm saying about black hat and gray hat game cheating is true and that it really does ruin your fun, consider using the following rules of engagement to be just a better person in general, not be a complete prick, not be a selfish, self-involved, antisocial human being, and also have more fun in the process. So I would recommend you use game cheats to actually help others to counteract injustice where it may be found in games, toxic people, black hat game hackers, and just generally enrich the games and communities that you are a part of. So the rules, as I have written them up for Whitehead game hacking, I get to make the rules because I am the person, the first person to ever talk about this. Um, I don't know if I'm the first person who came up with it, but I'm certainly the first one to write about it. So the rules of engagement, when are you allowed to use game hacks um, while still being a complete white hat game hacker. So first, to counteract black hat game hackers. So if there is a toxic hacker on the opposite team that simply runs around, shoots people through walls, doesn't care about other people's fun, doesn't care about the game they play, doesn't even care about their own account getting banned, you may activate your superpowers, your game hacks, to shoot them, but only them. Just hunt them down, use your ESPs or whatever to find them and to shut them down. It's a fair game at that point. It, it's hacker versus hacker. It's fair. 
and you're doing the world and the game and the community a service. Second, to counter unfair situations. So, in ye olde times, I don't know if it's still the same these days, I think it still happens, people could just team up. For example, in Battlefield, a lot of high rank pro players that were really good at the game, maybe even using hacks, I don't know, um, were just teaming up. They were just joining the same side and stomping the other side. Uh, leaving the other side absolutely unable to fight back and uh, spawn camping them, pop stomping them, pawning them left and right and they didn't stand a chance because if pro players team up against so just some random pubs, uh, yeah, it, that's what's going to happen. And in those kinds of situations, I think it is morally justifiable to counteract this unfair teaming up and exploiting of game mechanics to dominate the other team. Then thirdly, to help other players. So, especially in co-op games, for example, there are a bunch of horde mode games, such as, for example, Warframe and such, where the effort is rewarded to the whole team. You are just fighting through hordes of enemies, and then the more you kill quicker, the whole team gets a boost, gets more XP, gets more loot in those kinds of games, if everybody, of course, is just there to farm and doesn't really ha wanna have fun, I think it's fair to use game cheats in order to benefit the team, to, ca to carry your team and enrich their game experience, make their farming more efficient and so on. Then the use of game hacks to help others and enrich the game and the community in general. However you do that, it depends on the game. There's many different ways where you can do good using these superpowers, so to speak, that you paid for or downloaded and you don't necessarily need to be a prick and a selfish human being and an antisocial person that doesn't care about the well-being of others in order to use cheats. Then, fifth, do not use game hacks for selfish purposes unless absolutely no other players or the developers of the games are potentially negatively affected. So, an example I would give for that is if you're using a farming bot in some kind of game um, it's just some game that has an online component just to make cheating harder. If you are farming the game using a bot, you're not negatively impacting anybody. It doesn't make a difference whether you're wasting your life playing the game 24 hours a day or if you're having a bot do it. That's just my personal um, opinion. I think there's really no losers in that, especially if you use in-game purchases to support the developers in that case do make sure to evaluate your choices for any kind of moral flaws. Try to be morally good overall. Then sixth, counter toxic immoral practices. So <laughs> I'm very specifically referring to um, pay to win games. So a lot of, except for example, mobile games these days are pay to win blatantly. Uh, you can either just play the game 24 hours a day. You're going to be li limited by timers and energy and they're going to make it as hard as possible for you to get whatever you want to get. Or you can just shell out 50,000 bucks on, the, on microtransactions and get it within a few days, depending if there are limits to how many microtransactions you can buy. So in that case, I think cheating is fair game, um, unless, of course, if there is a PvP component. Although some of these games also let you dominate PvP if you pay. So at that point, I think most rules are out and the game is just toxic. They're selling cheats to their players for, for money. So I think cheating in those games is absolutely fair game and there's really no reason not to do it just because the game itself sells cheats and lets people dominate others using their wallet. So. Yeah, I think in those games, there's really, it's, it's white hat to actually skip the grind, skip the paying, having to pay $50,000 to go get to late game. And yeah, just use bots, use uh, mods, whatever you need to do in those games. Do not negatively affect any other players. Um, but yeah, that's basically for that. Then um, to avenge those who have been wronged, of course, there's gonna be, times where you know 
there's bullying in games and you need to make your own moral judgments on that of course everybody has their own kind of moral compass w when it comes to bullying but the very most important thing here is do not avenge yourself this is extremely important because whenever you start avenging yourself you're not being selfless you're being selfish you're trying to get back at somebody who called you a bad name or whatever um, because the truth is you are at the end of the day you are using a cheats you are acting unfair even if you are trying to be morally good and whatever abuse you get you deserve it so do not avenge yourselves that is an extremely important rule here it is actually the most important one for white hat game cheating if you avenge yourself you are giving into the selfish um, self-aggrandizing ego of you know that is just part of every human being and it just leads to more evil and that's not what we're aiming to do when we when we're trying to be white hat game cheaters so you may avenge those who have been wronged others but never yourself that is the job of another white hat game cheater or any other moral person in your game or lobby it's not your job to avenge yourself then eight act selflessly first primarily you always have to act selflessly and only act selfishly secondarily when it does not interfere with selflessness and if nobody is annoyed nobody is affected except you yeah that is white hat game hacking the r the rules that i have come up with personally and i think if we all stick to these rules we will of course we won't be using our cheats a lot if we're using this of course like even 98 percent of the time you might not use cheats at all but when a situation presents itself where you can help where you can enrich the community where, where you can write something where someone has wronged somebody else you will feel extremely good about it and you will know that you have made the world a better place instead of just being a toxic disgusting selfish person that only cares about themselves doesn't care if they're affecting other players negatively or ruining their fun or annoying them so if you're gonna use game cheats if you're gonna use game hacks please use them to do good and not to be selfish and then of course if we're talking about white hat we also have to talk of, about what the other hats of course are automatically a gray hat that's probably where most of you will fall they are selfish but they do limit the negative impacts that they have on other players that i would say that's probably 50 to 80 percent of everyone that is using game cheats they're trying to be selfish that's their primary goal but they do try to also be social um, and not get banned most of all so they may act selfishly but also um, you know, opportunistically be selfless and also tr try to limit um, their use of cheats just simply to be able to continue to be selfish and not get banned and then of course the back ads they don't have any empathy generally speaking of course it's it's a range it is a spectrum but generally what i would consider black hat is really the people that really don't care about anybody else don't care about the game they're playing they just want to dominate they just want to be the best they just want to unlock all the stuff they don't care if anybody else's fun is ruined they don't care about anything except themselves and we all know those and they are the reason why game cheating is so hated so frowned upon why everybody hates game cheaters although i would say overall they are a minority of game cheaters most of them will fall in the gray hat spectrum uh, of course there are very few white hats but we are working hard to change that and make game cheating something that is not only seen as uh, just toxic selfish people doing toxic selfish things because as with any advantage you have in life you can use it for good you can use it for bad if you have been born extremely pretty you can use it for bad you can use it to break a lot of hearts and just take what you want and leave a trail of broken hearts but 
you don't have to. You can use it for good. You can use it to enrich the world rather than to destroy it. Anyways, guys, that is it. I, of course, highly recommend you check out the article about white hat game cheating. You'll find it at hackerbot.net. Simply um, brave search hackerbot or um, game hacks and you will find hackerbot.net. Uh, just go to our homepage, then you'll find the link to the white hat game cheating um, tutorial. You'll also find on hackerbot.net how to hack games. It's a complete guide on how to cheat in games, how to do it safely on all platforms, how to avoid scams, what you need, and what are the exact steps you need to go through, and then in the end, of course, our call to action to become a white hat game cheater and do good using your game cheats. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. I'll see you guys next time.